Good afternoon. Welcome to this snowy day that we are having here in Alaska. Eric and I have been very busy this last week doing snow removal back to back. We had a snow come last week. It was over a period of two days. It brought 12 to 15 inches of fresh fluffy snow and Eric and I had already had a trip planned so we took that trip. We did as much as we could prior to that and then when we came back we had to really get down to business and get a lot of snow removed out of here. We were working in the night to get that done. A new storm is a Upon us and we're not really sure how much is going to fall this time around there's a warning and I found usually when they put warnings out we don't actually get as much snow as they anticipate but of course we have to err on the side of just getting more snow removal done in case we do end up with a lot of snow on our hands we've been here for this is our fifth winter so we've been here for four winters and it is not that usual to snow this much this early winter was a little late to arrive and the temperatures have been much warmer pretty much all throughout Alaska but the snow is early for us usually we don't see this kind of snow until March. So I'm not really sure how much more snow removal we're gonna have to do, but I am anticipating that it will be a busy and eventful week. Couple things we wanted to get done before we get more snow was the woodshed. We like to get the woodshed because we built it with two by fours. Probably should have went with two by sixes, but we didn't. We were trying to be cheap. So when we get about two feet of snow on there, we get up there and we uh, shovel it off. And the other thing we like to get is over in the chicken coop and then we'll call it quits for the night. It's like six, six feet of snow right here, isn't it? I'd say that's over two. Look, I'm already out of room to plow right here too. 12, 12. so it's just gonna be like six feet tall. I think one of us may need to get up there. I'm not sure though.
beautiful. Looks like we're gonna have a good snow machine season this year with all this early snow. From like nine o'clock last night till this morning, we just got totally dumped on, getting the deck shoveled off. And next I'm working on snow blowing this year. Since we're getting the snow so early in the season, we're gonna do a lot of snow blowing to kind of get rid of the snow. When you start using the plow, we've run out of room really fast on places to put snow. So we're gonna get at it again. Got to plow before the storm, during the storm, and after the storm, right? Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but I think that this is the most snow we've ever had on our shelter logic. It's probably like two feet, but it's thankfully pretty light and fluffy, so it's not too hard to, to tackle. Oh no. Oh gosh, it's embarrassing. Well, we got more snow. We got probably about another foot last night, but I think that's it for the storms. I have to get in here and remove a lot of snow. This is the most I have ever seen in the chicken coop and they're not having it. So I've got to get rid of some of it. I'm going to show you what it looks like in there.
So first off, there's these really cool snow creatures. This is the first time I've ever seen we have like self-supporting snow formations, I guess. Are you even out here? No one's outside. Hey chickens! I think this is my biggest concern. So we've got a lot of snow on there. Gotta get that off. Hey guys. I know. It's pretty bad, huh? Doing okay? Four feet? Look at that. Three feet? I wonder when I'm gonna get to the window. Here we I think I underestimated how long this was going to take us to remove. We are on, I think like day four of removing snow. So there you go. <laughs> this is a lot of snow in here. I gotta get at least half of it out for the chickens. Okay, looking much better. Even though these chickens are Icelandics, they do not like the snow and they also have a very bad fear of straw. Thirty seven inches. Not bad. We finally caught a break after it seems like forever of just having snow. The weather is calling for at least a week of very nice weather. Very nice, but cold. Last night we finished up with our snow blowing, our shoveling. We worked pretty late into the evening. All we gotta do now is the easy stuff and that's just run around the six wheeler, clean some stuff up with the plow. We're almost there.
separated now. Maybe take half this off? Take some of it off. Whoa. Where'd you jump? Are you on your knees? No, I'm not on my knees. Maybe get. That's not as much of a big deal as this right here because this is like, I keep kicking it. Yeah, just this will be perfect, right? Looks like they both did a clean out. Maybe like a dozen, two dozen bees on each one? Good job, my friends. All right, we're ready to head out. That's not, I don't know if it's coyote. Well, it's something. It looks kind of like a dog, coyote. It's something big. No dogs have been out here. No. Sounds like Eric found some birds. He's up there quite a bit. I am on snowshoes. I have snowshoes on. My machine will not tolerate this much snow. There's uh, several feet out here. So he has a scandic and has a wide track and he's up there. So we're gonna go see, we're gonna go see what's going on. You get three? I heard three or four shots. I got three. One of them took two shots and then two of them I tried to get while I, or no, one of them I tried to get while I was flying and it was too far away. Where'd and you go? another one flew off. Where'd I they fly to? It. What direction? Huh? What direction did they fly? One flew that way, one flew that way. I saw first one because I saw a mark in the snow with no wings and no tracks. He was in it. So he just literally like dive bombed into the snow and I went up to it and I went up to it and I was looking at it and I took off my gloves and I was literally about to step off and it flew out and then two more flew off. Cool. The snow is extremely deep and hard to get through. I'm going to go kind of head up to the sunny parts in the hill and I'll flag you down if I see anything up there. My way. Yeah, I heard it. Walk into those bushes. Okay, I hear a bunch of them, Eric. I'm gonna try to scare them.
Where did she go, little bird? These are really fresh, but I was just saying, I just walked through that whole thing and not one, I didn't see any eyes. Yeah, well that's where I scared a couple out of earlier and they went up this way. It's really hard to ride this thing. Yeah, I was just gonna tell you, we could just head down and just- That looks like two holes right there. Beautiful bird, huh? Well, I filled my limit ptarmigan hunting. We're having a lot better luck today than we did last time we came out here. And I'm thinking it's because we've gotten so much snow. There's probably like a good three feet more snow this time. And I think it's pushed the birds down into this valley where we can actually find them. We're finding all kinds of tracks. Ariel's walking around in her snowshoes and she's scaring them up. I'm, I'm driving around in the snow machine. I'm scaring them up. It's working good. So uh, Ariel's gonna take the shotgun. We brought the 20 gauge this trip and uh, we're gonna start heading out, I think, and she's gonna see if she can get a couple birds for us. Find it first. He's right there looking at me. Um, bird you. Oh, there's two, there's three. There's four, there's five. Oh. Ariel, you missed them all. <laughs> Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Wow. Four flew across the creek right there. I still see him. So I wasn't ready. I mean, I couldn't... I couldn't be ready. We have our safety on, so I'm not going to die out here trying to ptarmigan hunt but I got my first bird and a few of them are over there we have to make a run back to the truck to see if we can get some more ammo but pretty exciting stuff things are definitely going our way today been very eventful and like Eric said we've been just seeing so many so many tracks and signs of them these birds as you can tell are very well camouflaged a lot of the times we can't even see them until they make the sound and they jump up just like in that case right there it's a pretty chilly day out here I think it's in the negatives uh, one day before the solstice, so tomorrow's the shortest day of the year, five hours and 14 minutes, I think, which is also the same daylight length today. Okay, let's keep hunting. Geoing up on me too, a little. You want to take those back and we'll reassess? Yeah, I'm going to take there. them. I'll take them back up there. Here we go. Why don't you go get that last... That's your last shell, so... That's the last shell of today? I believe that's your last shell, yeah. Bummer. I know. That little fella over there is going to get away today because I am not that good at shooting. Uh, I got six or seven birds, which is awesome. We're going to head home and have a, a great feast tonight or tomorrow. It's a pretty nice day out here, but it is getting, it is getting windy. And I think that that bird was kind of looking for somewhere to den down because you could tell it was just barely walking through the snow. And that's, that's how they live out here. They have these really furry, fuzzy feet and they just know what to do to take care of themselves out here. Doesn't seem like there's much to eat or do out here in the winter. 
but somehow they're alive. It was a great day. We saw a lot of tracks and these birds are just so cool in my opinion to kind of see their behavior out here. We saw the tracks when they land in and the ones when they take off and they make these snow caves. I think that's how they spend the majority of the winter. Down in a snow cave they bury themselves and they stay there and you'll find droppings and everything in there and then they'll bust out and fly away. So good day. We're gonna head home now. <laughs> Right, Eric and I processed our ptarmigan yesterday. We got 17 birds. We were super excited about the whole ordeal. So we we're celebrating tonight with a ptarmigan pot pie. I am starting on our crust and it's really simple. I'm gonna be using some moose tallow and then I have about three and a half cups of flour and then some flaxseed meal. And the key to pie dough is using either fat or butter. We like to use a lot of fat. So if I have lard, I'll use lard. That obviously works a little better, but moose tallow is usually what we go to. And then I'm just gonna add some water to this and get our dough outside to chill for a little bit. And it is helpful to use cold water so you don't melt the fats. Tallow is pretty waxy to begin with, so it doesn't actually melt doesn't even really melt at room temperature. You have to heat it up pretty warm. While we're dropping off the dough, I'm also gonna grab some of the other ingredients for dinner. Moving on to the birds and we saved three birds for tonight. The rest of them have been breasted out and they are in the freezer for another time. I wanted to show you something really neat about these because out of all the birds we got, 16 of them were what are called white tailed ptarmigans. So they have a white tail. All of their feathers are white on their tail. Pretty, uh, self-explanatory, right? But there's three ptarmigan out there, three different kinds. There's rock ptarmigan and willow ptarmigan as well. And Eric happened to get 
one willow ptarmigan, which we just thought was so unusual. And it has black tail feathers, which is really neat. And these birds don't keep their plumage year round. They, they change it. Their feathers change throughout the year, whether it's spring or their uh, breeding and then in the summer too. So this is just their winter coat. And this bird is the biggest of all of them. It is the biggest ptarmigan, whereas the white-tailed ptarmigan are a little bit smaller. And again, I just find their feet horribly fascinating. They're absolutely amazing. You can't even see the skin. You have to go all the way past that fur to get to the skin. We were able to use a lot from the birds. We saved the legs for the dogs and we saved most of the organs for the dogs as well. These birds were eating all sorts of different food. We found it pretty fun to look through their crops when we were processing them. Eric is going to get these ones cleaned up and ready to eat for dinner. We're cooking these ptarmigans simple. We're doing a little bit of our herb butter and olive oil, and then I did salt and pepper on them. I've already went through the birds and I picked out any BBs. I only found one in these breasts, and we actually switched to steel shot uh, shotgun rounds for this trip. And that's why we ran out of ammo out there. We only had one box of those. But these birds, they're not that big. So they're almost like a big pigeon. So three birds is gonna be absolutely perfect for our pot pie. While all of this is cooking down, we are going to add some more ingredients. Eric added garlic and onion to the frozen vegetables as well. And then I have some herbs that I'm gonna be adding. We also have some dried mushrooms. These are the yellowfoot chanterelles that we harvested and dried. And they have to be rehydrated and cooked for a little bit before you eat them. But since we're going to be cooking this in a sauce and a pot pie in the oven for a long time, that will be sufficient. They smell so good. They smell, they smell like aged cheese or something. And then I'm gonna add some of our canned carrots and the celery soup that we made this fall. Looks pretty good. I think it'll. Yeah, it's fit. Best thing. Do you think I if it doesn't on? fit, just save the extras. But you can always. We probably can't overflow today because we're adding the term again. <laughs> Rolling out the top of our pie dough here. And I already tried the ptarmigan. It is delicious today. We've tried yeah. it before on a few occasions. And one time I feel like it was a tad gamey, but not today. It is fantastic. The salt and pepper that came through on it. It's freaking good. <laughs> All right. Please tell the chef the salt and pepper came through. Salt and pepper came through. So it turned out really good. Maybe it's because you didn't cook it all the way. I don't know. I mean, you know, it doesn't taste, I mean, it doesn't taste like chicken, does it? It's got no, I think it tastes almost like beef. Yeah, I need a real burnt piece of that. Thank you. I need some scissors. Thank you, Anna. that's fantastic. And I'm looking forward to that nice hot pie. It was pie. extremely tasty right there. There we go, she looks beautiful. She's going in the oven for probably a good 40 minutes or so. And Eric's gonna work on an appetizer for us. Well, this wasn't part of my appetizer, but I'm making like some little crackers or medallions out of this leftover pie dough. So that's gonna go with our appetizer. And what our appetizer is, is ptarmigan hearts. And these, we have, I think we have 15 of them in here. Marinated these last night in hot sauce balsamic and red wine. So these are gonna be very good.
Armageddon heart on a cracker. <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> the fumes were a little bit strong on this one. They are so spicy at the end. Oh, that's great to look forward to. <coughs> we can taste it. Balsamic and hot sauce. Those are good. Those are good. I like them. I would, uh, they marinated for probably not even 24 hours, but it, it's a little strong on the balsamic. Yeah. And the hot sauce end. So it's I may, good. I may, <laughs> it's good, but I may just marinate them a little bit less. I do like the little cracker though. They're, they're tasty. Now we got to wait for dinner. Yeah, I, I did smell it when I was a... Uh, How big of a piece do you want? A quarter. A whole quarter? Me too. I wasn't. <laughs> so Eric and I usually brush an egg wash on top of Fido's like this, but we did milk this time. Milk is kind of like another hack and it gives it a really nice glossy look. Yeah, it does. That is some thick pie. There you have it. We're topping these with red salsa. You want salsa on yours? Yeah, I just want salsa. Actually, I'll have both. And sauerkraut. We're super excited for this meal. Um, I think we're just grateful for the birds and everything. Yeah. It's, it's been a long week. This is a good meal to have. It's been a long, cold week. It's always a treat when you go hunting and you actually get something. You're successful? Because it's not guaranteed. What do you think? Sit down and eat tonight? Sure. Oh my gosh, yes. <sighs> Did you already try any? No, but I want to try the ptarmigan by itself. There it is. I didn't even, I forgot there was ptarmigan in there. They're really delicious. Wow, they are.